Hi, this is Andy Doctor. It's getting popular to change oil by oil extraction, and I have done this with Chevy Equinox and Audi Q7. I have two videos for these two cars already. Today, I am going to do it on a Volvo XC90 V8. Typically, when you change oil by extraction, you want the oil filter to be on top of the engine. But this engine doesn't have that feature. It is on the bottom. However, I realized that the oil filter is at the front and you can get to it without raising the car. So, sounds like a neat idea to do it in this way. You don't need to raise up the car at all. It's easier and cleaner and safer if you do not know how to raise the car. So, to do it, of course, you need to have oil extractor. This is the one that I use. Uh, you don't have to use the same one, but if you don't have one and want to buy the same one, there is link in the description to Amazon for you. In fact, all the parts and tools that I use will have link in the description. So if you want to buy from Amazon, you can go ahead and do it. Now, let's do it. First of all, just get the thick tip out and we just put it somewhere and we will basically put the tubing of the oil extractor into the hole and we're going to start pumping the oil will come up it's just that easy to do it usually you want to have a warm engine you don't want your engine to be ice cold at least so let's do that this is the tubing that i am going to use Sliding. Okay, let's feel it is at the bottom. And we will connect this tubing to the oil extractor like that. Okay. And I am just going to pump. And hopefully, oil will come up. Yes, it does. Um, I know this car holds 7.1 quart of oil and my oil is at the right level so hopefully I can get that amount of oil out in the end. You don't need to pump continuously, you just pump a little bit and it will create a vacuum. The oil will just come out by itself. Of course, if it's getting slow, you want to pump again. But the point here is, you can just let it extract the oil and go to get a cup of coffee, for example. After about 10 minutes of extraction, I get about 6 liter oil. The car holds 7.1 quarts, which is 6.7 liter. Sure, I probably did not get everything out, but the oil filter probably still holds some oil. So I don't consider it too bad either. So now, I am about to remove the oil filter and change the oil filter and add oil back in. The idea here is that the oil filter is about at this location, just right on top of the front edge of the skip plate. If I can remove this screw, that one, and there is another one out there, and there might be one out here, but it's missing. If I can remove those few screws, then the oil filter is accessible, then I can extract the oil from top and remove the oil filter that way. So let's see. So the answer is yes, when I remove three screws or maybe four when it is in the original configuration. The skip play dropped now and I'm sorry, it's so difficult to take video below. So I did not take video in the process of removing the screws. They are 10 millimeter anyhow very easy and you see here is the oil filter now we just need to remove the oil filter housing make sure you have a bucket on the bottom to collect oil and of course you need a big socket um, if you need to buy one there's a link in the description to amazon for you again and we just ratchet it out i hope it should be very easy again the spot is pretty difficult to take a video for but let's see I have to say, it was very tight to get started. That's why you want to change your 
oil. There was quite some amount of oil, honestly tell you. So that explains why I did not get all the oil out from the oil extractor. So again, then, this further proof that you can do it in this way. All the oil will be out from the dipstick hole and from the oil filter housing. Just make sure next time you have a piece of paper towel ready. Now we have the oil filter housing and the oil filter on top of the car. And I get a new one, obviously, with a O-ring inside. So let's change that. It should be super straightforward like any other car. I am going to leave this one here for now. Also with the gasket. Okay, and I am going to remove the old one. It should come right out. Never see one like this. Oh, it's not too difficult. I was, I don't know why it did not want to come out at first. So I am going to put it inside and going to dispose it later on. So let's pry this one out and remember where it go by the way. Without seeing I will not guess this is the location for that one. Okay, fine, let's push that one in first. No direction. Okay, it is in, and now the gasket, make sure it sits inside, and we are ready to put it back in, and make sure you don't over tidy. it. Uh, whoever worked on this car was a little bit crazy on the, the screws or the oil filter housing or everything, but anyway, and then I will add oil, of course, after that. So hang tight it first, and then after you cannot do it with hang anymore, just use the wrench and make it until it feels snug. There's absolutely no need to over tight this thing. Okay, that should be good. So, now let's add oil. I like mobile one, but you obviously can use anything of your choice. It's 5W30, and look at the menu for other uh, spec. Um, remember, this one is 5 quarts, and the car needs 7.1 quarts, so you need about one and a half jack of this, okay? But I'm not going to add, you know, show you the whole thing. You, you know what I mean. Um, Anyhow, this is how to do it, the, to change oil on a Volvo XC90 V8 with oil extraction. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I personally think that's a pretty good idea, but you can have different opinions. Just please let me know, and uh, I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, if so, I hope that you can like this video, or even better, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.